I want you to think about how well you have spent your life. For some, they feel very good about how they have lived their lives. But in a good number of cases, people didn't make the most of their time. Wasted in the world on drugs, alcohol, women, men, material possessions, all sorts of things. that didn't bring value to their souls. The Lord has a weighted scale. And your soul must balance on a day of judgment. A person must live faithfully through his doctrine. The ways of this world leads to death. Spending your life seeking the will of fortune of things that will evaporate They're not part of God's kingdom. It is time today to start spending your life correctly. In the book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 24, in the gospel, Luke mentions that whoever wants to save their life will lose it. From a human standpoint, a mindset, that doesn't sound like by trying to save your life you will lose your life. But from a spiritual standpoint, life means living through Christ. That's the big difference. And that is the only difference that will have an impact on a person's soul. He goes on to mention, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. It tells us right there in plain writing that life is found only in the Lord. The fun under the sun is not everlasting. And as we turn the pages we need to find the Lord before it's too late. Before the Lord stops. on us, on someone's life, and it's physically over. Spend what time you have left living for God's will, living for a real purpose.
be the godly example for your loved ones. Don't set them up to lose their life. Don't give them the wrong direction for them to believe that by, by trying to save their lives in this world, indulging in things that are not godly, for them to lose their lives. The time is right now to start knowing who God is. And for those who have separated themselves from the Lord, it is time to reconnect. It is time to get back to Jesus Christ.